Uh, failure is uh, an, an ingredient in life. It's an ingredient in growing. I've definitely experienced failure. I know we all wish we could be successful all the time. But yeah, you're gonna fail all the time. The key is how we respond to them. The day before I launched, the chief of the office sat in front of me and said, Serena, I say this to every astronaut before they launch, you will make mistakes. And I made mistakes on space station. I hit the wrong switch. I didn't do the science experiment right. Um, the biggest thing is to own up to them and move forward. As a scientist and a researcher, you actually have a lot more failures in your experiment than you have success. And that's the process of science, is that you've got a question, you don't necessarily know the answer, but you set up your experiment to look at what the answer is going to be. And since you don't know how to get to that answer, your experiment may fail a few times. If after it didn't work, you stop. That's a failure. But if it doesn't work, if you fall down seven times, but you stand up eight, that's not a failure. I learned seven really important things and then I succeeded on the eighth one. Getting to this job, I set a goal in the 70s uh, to be an astronaut. If I applied over 10 years, six applications to NASA, interviewing three times, suffering uh, many disappointments over that, those 10 years, thinking that maybe I would never get the opportunity, but perseverance paid off. You might see our demonstration and it might look flawless to you, but we go back and we have a cameraman on the ground who's zoomed in on every maneuver and we're analyzing formation positions, we're analyzing timing off of each other, and it's never perfect. There's always errors and we're always striving to fix those. I think that failure is a great thing as long as nobody gets hurt and that the kind of a, a near miss is the, is the best thing that you can have. You get to learn the lesson without the bad thing happening. Failure is, is an incredible, intense learning process. And if you use it as a learning process, it was, it was worthwhile. You think about what you did, you talk about your failures, internalize them, and make sure that you can learn from them so that next time you can deal with the next failure better. You wind up looking back, learning more from your failures than your successes, and they help to, to build you and sometimes unexpectedly wind up benefiting you. Failure is part of everybody's journey. Find out more about the careers and failures of some of the coolest people in STEM, including those featured in this video. Be sure to check out our My Path series. And if you like this video, follow STEM in 30 on Facebook and Twitter and subscribe to the National Air and Space Museum's YouTube channel.